Greetings, you are welcome to my channel. So today we are going to learn about lung flow. So um, sit tight, a buckle up, because it's going to be just a short introduction of what basically lung flow is and how you can actually get started. We shall do this together. So I don't have to worry about anything. So even if you're new to AI and these LLMs and everything, I'll just try to explain um, from a beginner level of understanding. So what's lung flow? So lung flow, if you've interacted, before I start to introduce to you lung flow, if you've interacted with chat GPT and, um, and you've actually uh, done a lot of things, that means you've been interacting with just a large language uh, model uh, to actually have your work done or whatever prompts you've been given and now on top of that there are people actually or companies that are actually producing stuff that makes it easy for developers but also for ai enthusiasts to create um to create applications that could be a uh, generative uh, ai applications uh it could be rag that is retrieve augmented generative uh basically on top of the large language models so lang flow itself is not a large language model so it is a tool that actually helps you to simplify your work uh, to actually get started with creating uh, different things that you want to do. And they do this basically by creating visual appear, um, appealing interfaces, but also connecting uh, stuff through components, building blocks, creating multiple agents. Uh, agents uh, that's basically AI agents that can actually uh, you can leverage and use in your applications the existing applications I hope this gives us an overview so let's see how you can actually install um, Langflow on your machine so I have a Windows machine and um, shall just look at it uh, if you have Python installed I'll assume that you have Python already installed so that you can actually uh, continue with this but also the other prerequisite that is necessary for for this tool is basically open AI API key I have a video about that and uh, when you reach that part you need to have created at least an open AI API key strictly they're using open AI and uh, yeah for you actually to get started or to run it up uh, on your machine so uh, let's uh, see how we can actually install let's see how we can actually get started so let's click on install let's have our windows machine mm. i'm going to and i have python already installed and i already created my api key for open ai so let's just install langflow so uh, for my case um installing langflow using this command uh, took really some time why because of this uh, dash u because uh, at first I just actually copied this and then just pasted it uh, into my terminal uh, but this what it does it actually upgrades everything like every dependency you're installing so it goes on upgrading every package that you actually have but which is a dependent to, uh, to actually a long flow so that really took some time for me and I really don't want you also to maybe um, do the same thing but maybe it's advisable to do that to upgrade all your dependencies maybe that's what a long flow uh, needs but that wasn't for my case because I realized there are some errors that were actually coming through and I had to actually solve them for some time and uh, so in this video I'll guide you how to actually do this easily so I uh, just copy this uh, pip install a long flow for me up to here and then um, and then just copy it so when you copy it just come to your terminal so let's just go to the terminal uh, then you just say paste you just paste it so when you paste it, it should be able to install uh, everything so i already did this step so i'm uh, just going to, to go to the next step so when you're installing lang flow you will realize that there are two key errors that for me that actually uh, stood out so as you can see everything has uh, requirements is already satisfied because i already uh, installed uh, i already installed all these so uh, if for example uh, i go to if for example i go to let me just go to uh, the file here 
so this file here is going to help you to get I'll put this in the description so first things first upgrade your pip if you have python let it be at least at least a uh, 3.10 uh, uh, for long float actually work then the first error i had for my case was http call and httpx so these two uh, work together to actually render the, the http and everything and the request via the local interface and i had some issues because you could install some other version some other version is not compatible so this command uh, worked for me whereby i just had to get a 0 0.3 13 uh, point 0.7 and the uh, 0 0.18.2 uh, to actually work in sync so you'll want this command especially if you're using windows machine and then um uh the module uh had no uh this because of the cryptography and all those open ssl issues so what i did was uh to do a choco install choco chocolate is basically a package manager for windows so you could open this in um terminal but usually i prefer opening it in uh, partial uh you open this in partial windows partial but you open it as an admin and when you open it as an admin just copy this and paste it there if you have open ssl it's well and good but the cryptography version that i used in the terminal was actually this in the normal terminal so you want to actually install this version for actually to be able to use it on your windows for my case it's windows 10 and i don't know about you so this is what actually worked for me so the other thing i want also to do, just emphasize is uh, when you're running these commands maybe run them in the um, uh, the elevated admin, uh, terminal like um, one that with the admin rights like open them open the terminals with admin uh, rights so yeah that's it basically I just wanted to emphasize so that you don't have to uh, face the errors at least that I faced running a lang flow on my machine so if I have everything ready uh, so let's just go back to the terminal so I uh, see these ones because uh, now these ones because I already upgraded I did uh, the first command I said uh, dash u up and I upgraded everything and now I just have some errors with these other packages but it's okay these are not affecting our uh, lang flow so I'll just go ahead and just uh, clear that so let me just run now lang, fl uh, lang flow so to run lang flow it's just basically python uh, a dash m that's basically the module then lang flow then run so that you just click enter so when you click uh you see i actually have some error here you have a close error so when you have a close error that means there's something not right so uh let's uh try to let's try to actually uh see if we can fix it so i'm going to reinstall uh, this cryptography as a version of 3.47 So uh, I'll just you now clear this again. So I'll run it. I'll run a uh, lang flow. To see if we still have the error. Yeah, we still have that close error. So this close error is basically remember the HTTP core version I told you about. This is it. So I could maybe just reinstall it again. I could just come, uh, do a pip install. So uh, let's try running lang flow again.
yup so it took a little bit some time so I have, and now you can just copy this uh, put it in your browser so it runs on port 7860 so yeah we are finally here so uh, that's it uh, basically for this video I just wanted to stop here uh, so that the next video we shall just look at the interface and the dashboard but also how to just quickly put up um, let me just retry uh, to just quickly put up uh, the API key and uh, if you already have open API key that's okay uh, so the next steps just going through the dashboard is just create uh, the workspace anyway I'll call it the workspace so that you can actually get to understand so there's something here let's just first check uh there's something here i'm seeing here everything is okay uh, let me just go back to the interface uh, i don't know what's happening let's just try so uh lung flow just a little bit of issues but i think everything is cover yep so this is the interface so um, we shall look at actually how you can actually use this interface in the next video so once again see you in the next video